We're up here north of Browning. Goose Lake is right back over here, uh, northwest corner of the reservation. So we're up here quite a bit, building fence and mending fence and taking care of the animals. Get out real fast. So do you know what how much train you got? This last Not up here no. now. It's been pretty spotty. Oh. But it sure looks good though. They almost need a baler. Yeah. Back in 2014, Francis came in into the office there and had some questions about some cost share assistance programs that NRCS offers. NRCS is, you know, we want to get out there and help landowners make improvements on their ground. This program is, uh, I think, really geared for producers like me and my wife where we didn't have the opportunity to take over the family ranch or farm or, you know, work with the folks pretty much starting it from scratch with the way the prices are and material and equipment. We've been pretty fortunate to qualify for these programs and uh, Eric's been super to work with. In the reservations in Montana, under EQIP, we've been allowed to go in and provide cost share assistance for perimeter fencing. A lot of this stuff, he'd come out and help me GPS and find the pins so he was online. And then he'd like come this. out and sign off and okay. made sure everything was built okay. to specs. It's a four wire fence, it is wildlife friendly. The top wire is at 42 inches and the science behind that is it's low enough that a lot of our wildlife, elk and deer, it's a safe height where they can, they can clear that. And the bottom we actually brought up to, to 16. We're not really an antelope country up here, uh, but there is some antelope, you know, in some places that they're able to get underneath of it without getting caught. If you're driving around and you see an antelope with, you know, a, scar on the middle of their back, it's usually not a hunting injury, it's, you know, they went underneath a fence and got caught up in, in all that. Over the last three years, we've put in probably 12 miles and we're going to do some more. Okay, there's the one without the red, but it doesn't have all your control. See what I mean? So that one, that just has the stuff we've done equip on. We're able to, over the years, take care of the ground a lot better, breed a little tighter pastures, spread them out a little more and rotate. And, and with the more pastures, we're able to hit different fields at different times of the years, rest some of them. We're basically just trying to, uh, you know, put that perimeter fence up to, you know, to save that interior resource. So the idea behind that is that you're always chasing good grass. Seems like it sure does increase your stocking rate. Those cows will go in and hit the sweet spots and they won't hit the grass that they don't really like. By putting uh, perimeter fences, you know, in, it's given a better control of, you know, your, your neighbor not being able to come on and, and uh, graze on you. And it'd be real tough for uh, Boo Boo to come and uh, have any kind of successful breeding program in here where he's looking for some genetics and whatnot if he's always trying to chase the neighbor's herd bull out. It's overall rewarding for uh, me to come out and to see producers like Boo Boo that's able to, to get out on the ground and be successful and, and have a, a really good operation and, and he was able to do what he needed to do to, to make a living. We're just very fortunate to, to be a part of this program and like I said it sure helped me and my wife like we're building this thing from the ground up and it's pretty tough to do without a little bit of help you know.